Okay, ratios and proportions, okay? 3 over 16 equals x over 12. you got to solve for x. Well, 3 times 12 is going to be equal to 16 times x. So I'm going to multiply the two known factors, okay? You just cross multiply and divide. So you take 3 times 12, and then whatever that is, since that's equal to 16 times x, you can just divide that by 16. 2.25. Okay, this is a complex ratio. 2x plus 3 over 11 equals x minus 3 over 4. Now, we're not going to be able to just, you can just tell by looking at that, you're not going to be able to cross multiply and divide. Okay, you can only do that if you have x and then three other values, the, and the other three values you know in the proportion. So, what we do is we circle one of the diagonals and label that A and that B, and this C and this D. So I line up my equation, because taking 2x plus 3, A times B, 2x plus 3 times 4, is going to equal the C times D. So x minus 3 times 11. Okay, so here's the plus, you drop that and you distribute the 4, okay? So, 4 times 2x and 4 times 3. So it's going to be 8x and 12. Okay, now jump over here. If you want to put a 1, put it. Minus 3 is plus negative 3. So you drop the plus down and you distribute the 11. Times 1x and times negative 3. So it's going to be 11x and negative 33. Okay, then you solve it. Uh, you got x's on opposite sides. Pick one of them. I'll pick the 8. Take that to 0 by minus 8x. So I have 12 and then 3x plus negative 33. So x is over here with a times 33, a plus negative 33, so you got to get rid of the adding number first, adding 33. So that's 45 equals 3 times x, then you divide by 3, and 45 divided by 3 is 15, so x equals 15, or 15 equals x. Okay, number three, what is 75% of 180? Now, remember how to solve a percent sentence. It's the percent over 100%, and then is over of. So the percent is 75. After of, you have 180. Is is my x. So I can just cross multiply and divide that because I know 70 times one, 75 times 180 that is going to equal 100 times x. So if I just divide by 100, I'll find the missing factor. It's 135. Okay, 60% of what number is 75? Okay, so percent, you got 60, okay, is over of, okay. Well, after of, it says what. Whenever I see the word what after of, that means that's what I don't know. And then is is 75. Okay, so I know 100 times 75 is equal to 60 times x. So I take 100 times 75 and then divide by 60, and I got 125. Okay, number 5, what percent of 15 is 12? Okay, this time we don't have our percent, okay? So the x goes here, and then after of, you see 15, and then 12. Okay, so 100 times 12 is equal to 15 times x. So 100 times 12 divided by 15 is 80. So x equals 80, it'd be 80 percent, because the x is the percent. Okay, similar triangles. 
find the length of side X, the so two triangles are similar. So you can put 32 over 36, you can also put 36 over 32, it doesn't matter. 32 matches up with X, and 36 matches up with 45. And then you just cross multiply and divide. We know 32 times 45 is going to be equal to, we know that's equal to 36 times X. So I divide by 36, I get 40. Okay, number seven, convert 35 kilometers to miles. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. So on your first ratio, you put one mile and then 1.6 kilometers. You put km. And then put the labels in the same order. Now the quantity you're given is 35. It's 35 kilometers. And we have to find the miles. So 1 times 35 equals 16 times x. So divide by 16. 2.1875. Okay, you can write that whole thing. You can round it. I don't care. But that is the right answer. Miles. Okay, now it's story problem time. A recipe calls for 12 bit. Recipe calls for 12 biscuits. I wrote that messed up. A recipe for. Cross out the first word calls. A recipe for 12 biscuits calls for 2 cups of flour. How much flour is needed to make 30 biscuits? So I kind of helped you out with the units because there's not a time unit. X is cups, Y is biscuits. So per would be biscuits per cup. It's always Y per X. Now we do not have the biscuits per cup. They never told us that, so I'm going to put a question mark. So when I make my table, I don't go 0, 1, 2. Okay, I put the labels. I go zero and I block it off. Okay, I don't go to one, two. You can't because you don't have the rate of change to keep adding. But 12 biscuits is with two cups, so you put those in the same row. So 12 biscuits, two cups. Then 30 biscuits, and we're trying to find the question mark, the cups. Now, if you have zero cups of flour, you can't make any biscuits. So if Y starts at zero, we don't make a line. We make proportions. Okay. Remember, the Y unit should go on top. Okay. So Y is biscuits, X is cups. So biscuits need to go on top. And then cups need to fill the bottom. It's always Y over X. Okay. Y goes on top. So 12 biscuits, 2 cups. And then 30 biscuits. And we don't know the number of cups. You can use any variable you want. You can use a C, an X, a Y. It doesn't matter because you're going to get the same thing. So 2 times 30 is equal to 12 times C. So gee, what's 2 times 30? I think it's 60. Divide by 12 is 5. Okay, So 5 is your answer. And you can put that up in your table too. Okay, number nine. I mow one yard in 30 minutes. My brother can mow one yard in 25 minutes. How long will it take us to mow 10 yards of the same size if we're working together? So minutes. So yards and minutes. You should know what X and Y are here. The time's always the X. Yards is Y. So per, yards per minute. Again, we don't know that, okay? But you're going to want to make two tables because there's two people, the brother and me. So yards is Y. Minutes is X. So again, we don't have the yards per minute, so on both tables we just go zero and then block it off. We don't go to one and two. Okay, so I, one yard in 30 minutes. So one yard, put one for yard, 30 for minutes. Now I go to the other table because that's a different person, one yard in 25 minutes. 
Okay, how long will it take us to mow 10 yards of the same size if we're working together? Now, the 10 yards is together, so I put 10 yards, question mark, minutes. That's together. Now, think about it. If you sit on your butt and work zero minutes, you get zero yards mowed. And the same for this guy. So that means we make a proportion. Now, since there's two tables, we need to add another ratio into the proportion, okay? So, remember, the Y goes on top. This is going to be all screwed up if you don't put the Y over the X. It always works that way. Okay, so Y is yards. Yards, yards, yards. Only yards numbers go on top. X is minutes. Minutes 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 that's a proper way to write that yards per minute yards over minutes so my first table that'd be one yard in 30 minutes 1 30th and then the other guy can do one in 25 now together they have to get 10 yards so I put 10 in for yards and I don't know how many minutes you can put M or any letter you want okay any letter you want will work now, you need to add these as fractions, so I'm going to put add fractions, because you drop your equals, then you add 1 30th, 1 ABC 30, plus 1 ABC 25, 11 over 150, so I add those as fractions, and then 10 over M, or whatever letter you have. And then you just cross multiply and divide because you know 150 times 10 equals 11 times M. Okay, just put 136. Okay, 136 is all you need to put. Okay, number 10. Three-fourths of the gnomes in the magic forest had happy faces. If 60 gnomes had happy faces, how many gnomes were in the entire forest? Okay, um, this three-fifths is a ratio, okay? Now you need a label. The bottom's your total, okay? Always is. Bottom's total. Now the three is the part I have circled that had happy faces. Okay, so then total, same thing over here, had happy faces. Okay, how many gnomes had happy faces? Well, we know that. We know it's 60, so I'm finding the total. So I take 5 times 60 and divide by 3, 100 gnomes. Okay, now percent, 30 percent of the class participated in the lip sync. If there were 60 students in the school, how many students participated in the lip sync? Now, circle your percent. If it says of after it, you're going to put 30 percent over 100 percent, and it's going to be a problem like this, okay? Like the top. It's just a frac percent over 100 instead of a fraction. So total, and then participated in the lip sync so total and I don't care how you abbreviate it's up to you participated in the lip sync okay how many students participate in the lip sync we don't know that that's what they're asking me to find so that's X so the 60 is your total this time okay so it's like flipped up there so 30 times 60 is equal to 100 times x. So you got 18. 18 students. Okay, number 12. An item that originally cost $45 was marked up in price by 35%. Calculate the price of the item after it was marked up. Now your percent does not say of this time, it says up. So, you don't use proportions. You use a certain equation. Percent times before equals after. Ok, 
Okay, so let's talk about our percent. You don't just put 35. When it's up, you need to take 100% plus 35%. That's 135%. Then you move the decimal back to 1.35. So my percent, 1.35. Now, since I've circled after, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So that's X, and then the before amount's 45. So we have 1.35 times 45 equals x. And x is by itself, so I just perform the operation on the other side, and I'll have my answer. 1.35 times 45, 60.75. Talking dollars, so dollars is okay. Okay, number 12, last problem on this packet. Two cars travel for the same amount of time. One car averages 55 miles per hour while the other car averages 65 miles per hour. When they stop, the faster car has traveled 40 miles further. Okay, calculate the miles traveled by each car. Time equals distance over speed. So you're going to want to make a grid here. You're not going to make lines or anything like that. Okay, it's not that type of a problem. And you're going to put speed, distance, and time in that order. Speed, distance, time. And you're going to have your fast car and your slow car. Now, what is the speeds of the fast car? Of this car, 45 and 65. So the fast is 65, and the slow is 55. Okay. Now the distance. Remember, your speeds your miles per hour. Distance is just the miles, okay? The only thing I see about miles is 40 miles, okay? But it says 40 miles further. That doesn't mean we can just put 40 in one of the boxes, okay? 40 miles further means plus 40, means a fast car went plus 40. Now, what plus 40? I don't know, okay? So I use a variable. Now, you can pick M or X or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the letter you pick. And this is just going to be the same variable without the plus 40, okay? So this, these are my answers to the problem. Miles equals blank and blank. Now time, time is the hours. Now we don't know anything about the hours other than they are equal, okay? Same amount of time, they're equal. And we also know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. But you don't actually divide. You make your division line. You take your distance, m plus 40. Since you don't know what m is, that's why you can't divide. And then the speed is 65. Then for the slow car, the distance, we don't know. So it's m divided by the speed, 55. Now these are equal, so you line them up into a proportion. So m plus 40 over 65 equals m over 55. And then you have to use your A, B, C, D. If you used X instead of M, it doesn't matter. Okay, That's A times B. Remember, the diagonal multiplications are always equal. Okay, so A is M plus 40. B would be 55. C is M. D is 65. Okay, this side here you can just put a 1, 6, and that there's no plus, so you just take 65 times 1M. That's 65M. Don't forget to put the M on there. But with this plus here, we have to drop it down, and we need to distribute 45 to 55 to 40 and 55 to 1M. Okay, so 55 times 40, 2,200. And that's going to be 55M. So 55M plus 2,200. Then you got the variable terms on opposite sides. So I would pick the one over here. You don't want to get rid of this one because then there's nothing over there on that side. See, I'll, I'll still have a value on that side if I get rid of the 55. So that's 10M. 
and this is 2,200. So all you have is the times, you just need to divide to find it, okay? 2,200 divided by 10 is 220. Okay, now you go up in your tables, get rid of the variable, and put 220. So 220 plus 40 is 260. So the fast one went 260 miles, and this one here went 220.